In this video, I'm going to be replacing the door speakers on this Freightliner Cascadia. This is uh, 2013. So if you have this type of doors on your truck, I don't know what year they go from. But if you have this type of doors, then the size for the speakers is going to be a, a 5.25. Let me show you right here. This is the, the size I got. It's a 5.25. Uh, 130 millimeter so this is the type of speakers that I got this is the JL audio I don't know if you want to get this type or a little different I'll show you the the, the size I, I already installed one and and uh, the speaker didn't fit perfectly so you might want to get a little different speakers I'll show you right now so the reason that I'm Changing the speakers is because the, the speakers already rattle. As you can see they're all damaged right here. So I already, I already replaced the other side. And this is the, the way the, the speakers look. This is the one I'll be installing right now. And the, the thing about the speakers for this truck. As you can see right here. The new one, it's a little taller. So whenever I install it, it's going to be popping a little bit. And then you're not going to be able to put this cover exactly how it looks right now. It's going to come out a little bit because it's going to be forcing right here on the Twitter. So you might want to get a, a smaller, the same size of this on the speaker. This one has a bigger magnet. So that's why it doesn't fit perfectly. But I'm still going to be using this type of speakers because... um. I like the way they sound they sound great so let me go ahead and start replacing them so to remove this bracket right here you have these four bolts and you're gonna be needing a, a Torx 30 this uh, T30 so let me go ahead and remove them I'm gonna be using one of these picks to remove the, the cover. Just grab it like from here. And just pull it out and just bring it down because you have this little clips right here. So you gotta kind of bring it down and push it out. And then you have the speaker. And you also have four bolts. And for those little screws, you're gonna need a, a T, T20. It's gonna be a Torx 20. So let me go ahead and remove these four bolts, four little screws. As you can see, this one right here is damaged too. So that's why it's all rattling. And then you're gonna have this plug right here. All you gotta do is lift the tap and pull it out. So as you can see right here, the I'm gonna be removing this plug and connecting it to the to the new speakers. So before you cut the wires, make sure you check where the you have the, the positive. So in this case, I think they're all the same in all trucks, but, but check before you cut it. The positive is going to be the white, the white cable, and then you have the negative is going to be the black one. Let me see if I can get on on video. So yeah, on this case, the, the the positive, the white one, the negative is going to be the black one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this plug. I can just remove the this wire right here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. 
and I'm gonna connect some, put some connectors, some speaker connectors on the on the wires. I'll show you the way I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the new one. So this box for the new speakers come with this type of connectors, and they also give you this this clips, so you can screw your speaker in. But we're not gonna be using these ones. This if you have a different kind of setup, the screws come with this box too. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this the screws instead of the the ones that came with the truck i'm not going to be using this ones no more because they're a little shorter but if your speakers are not as tall as this ones then you can still use this this type of screws i'm just going to be using these longer ones because the the speaker won't it won't fit all the way in this hole because of this this plastic right there so the speaker doesn't doesn't go all the way in as you can see right here so i'm just going to be putting the screws like that I'm not gonna it's not gonna sit all the way in but if you get a different type of speakers then then it, it'll it'll sit all the way in it'll mount perfectly so here I have it ready I cut the plug out so this plug is gonna go straight into the to the truck and right here all you gotta do is plug it into the speaker uh, just make sure like on this one as you can see the the positive is a little wider and then the negative is just a little smaller so make sure you put the the right size on the on the, on the wires so the positive it's a little bigger and, and it's gonna be on the on the, the white one it's gonna be the positive so just go ahead and stick it in there and then just push push in the the negative so if you don't have this connectors you can solder it solder it or maybe just just put it in there and twist it with the, with the wires but I recommend you to get one one of these connectors so now I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in all you gotta do is just push it in there and all the four screws align I don't know if you can see it on the video but they do align so this is what I was talking about it doesn't sit all the way in because of the the magnet hitting this piece right here but I'm just still gonna go ahead and mount it like that so if you get the the, the speakers that are not this long if you get maybe like some shorter speakers um it'll it'll fit perfectly so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in like this and this one you can still mount but um they're not gonna sit perfectly so let me show you and i'm uh, i'm using the, the screws that the the speakers came with so I'm gonna be using this drill uh, this drill has a stopper it, it won't over, over torque them I'm gonna put it a little less so make sure you don't put too much pressure into the to the bolts to the screws So there it goes as you can see it, it, it don't it'll sit so so that one is ready so the cover 
All you gotta do is just put this two two clips right here, right in here, and then just kind of push it up. And all you gotta do is just press the the clips right in. So as you can see, um, it'll it'll sit, but you can see that little gap right here. So. That's how I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, it, it's not putting too much pressure into the tweeter. It's just a little, just a little plastic. So I'm gonna put the this handle right here back in here. So it's secure now. And that's basically how you put in your uh, door speakers. So let me show you the way they sound. So as you can see, they sound very good. So this this is it for this video, and thanks for watching.